Okay, guys. So a while back, I did a video on Jezebel, who was a pothos. And she was struggling a little bit in her pot. So I propagated her, and I got two different jars here. And today, we are going to repot her. I'm come in here and show you guys some of the cool things about propagating these that I just think is super cool. All this growth, like these literally were growing in water. Um, so pothos are so easy to propagate. Um, like this was literally just a stick. It was just a stick that I took from the plant and I put it in water. We got this top leaf here. We got growth here. We also have growth down here. So these are super, super easy to propagate. And like I said, Jezebel here, she was dying um, in her soil. And there were quite a few mistakes I made. She's one of the first plants that I've had. So I had her for a long time. I made quite a bit of <laughs> mistakes with her, but that's okay. We're all here to learn. So like I said, and you can see just all this new growth, all these roots. Um, so a lot of people do just keep these in water sometimes and just let them keep growing. I personally do like to put them in soil. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come in close and show you guys that and just because I just really think it's cool <laughs> so so the first thing is is I'm gonna take her out now she has a lot of roots here um, I did kind of leave her in the water a lot longer than I planned on it but we're still gonna be good so you see all the roots here we got a nice big root ball and I kind of put it down in this pot's pretty good. Um, I think she'll do fine. If I had a little bit of a smaller one, I would probably put her in that, but this is actually the smallest size that I have right now. So that's what we're gonna work with today. So, set her there. And I'm always gonna put a little bit of dirt at the bottom. Now again, I do make my own potting soil. I kind of mix my own. Um, hopefully one day once this runs out and I need to make some new stuff, I'll make another video for you guys on that one. So we got soil. We're gonna stick her right on down in there, just like so. Now I am gonna add some worm castings because I just like to add that for a little bit more fertilizer and I'm just gonna add it right on down right by the roots there give it a little bit extra fertilizer just in that area since we are trans transporting her from the water to the dirt that can be kind of traumatizing um and there's a lot of things that you can do there are different fertilizers and stuff like that that can help with transplanting but as of right now I just go right on in, put the soil in. You gotta tap the sides because you wanna get that soil all in between all of those roots that have formed. So we're just gonna tap alongside there and I'm just gonna put that soil right on down in there like so. Get her nice and good in there. packed in there I do like to pack down a little bit on top kind of snugger in there maybe put a little bit more dirt in there okay once you see we got her all down in there I don't know if you can see in there she's all packed nice and tightly now another thing that I like to do some do with some of my especially vining plants like this I like to put these little stakes in, especially ones that I'm just now repotting and kind of tie so they can tie right here. Because if you see like here is, here it is before. And then if you were to kind of tie it up, it kind of straightens the pot or the plant, I should say. 
a little bit, just gets it to stand up a little bit better. And that's just the way I, I like to do it. Um, so I'll secure this with twine or just like a little twisty tie. And it'll stand up nice and straight and she's gonna start growing.